You know, life was easier as a kid. Before the weight of the world was on your shoulders, I don't know about you, but my toys were fun. They didn't sit on the shelf in the package. They got played with a lot. My name's Doug, and I miss my toys. At the request of one of my oldest friends and a fan of the show, we're going to be taking a look at an old collectible that was popular in the mid-80s and a raunchy, un-PC, unapologetic send-up of the Cabbage Patch Kids, Garbage Pail Kids. These cards were from Tops and started to appear in stores around 1985. When I was in middle school, these were extremely popular, and many of us would get together in the lunchroom in the mornings and over lunch and trade these things. Each series of cards contained 82 cards, 41 sets of twins, so you'd have two of the same images with different names. My collection used to be a lot bigger. Years ago, I sold my entire second and third series sets on eBay for a decent amount. Had I known I'd be doing this show someday, I would have kept them. This is what's left of my Garbage Pail Kids. I collected from the first to the fourth series, and I just got into it as the first series was disappearing from store shelves. This made these cards a hot commodity and quite sought after by myself and my friends. Not to mention that the first series was the most raunchy, disgusting, and unapologetic of them all, which is ideal for a group of squirrely middle school boys as we were. I never had the whole series, and I think I may have let some go over the years. This is my first series collection here on the table. Let's take a look at a few notables from the first series here. Uh, some that I really liked and I was glad I still had. This is Adam Bomb. Um, this is uh, the one that you always see on the boxes of everything. You saw it on the box I had, the collector box. Uh, he's back with the cheater's license. So uh, apparently if you have this and you cheated in school, you could show this to the teacher and say, uh, this is okay. <laughs> but um, that's Adam Bomb. All right, and this is the last one of the series. Well, the first one of the last one. This is Mean Gene. I always liked this because I was a big wrestling fan back then, and his name was Mean Gene, like Mean Gene Okerlund. And uh, I just thought he looked really cool, too, with all the guns and ammo and everything. Everybody wanted this card back when I was a kid, and I was fortunate to have him and his twin, Jolt and Joe. This is cool. Uh, Dead Ted, zombie, before... Uh, they were in everything um, here that was, and I liked him too because he had the checklist on the back. And here's all the names of all the uh, first series uh, cards that you could have. And you can see, I don't even think I marked this. This is something that somebody marked. I don't remember if I did it or not, um, you know, with cards that they had. These are a few extras I had. These are all doubles of cards I already have here on the table. So some of these were pretty common. Uh, especially that uh, Wacky Jackie and Looney Lenny one. I remember having at least two sets of those, and I still have two sets of them. There were also some things that were kind of controversial, too. Um, they didn't really mince anything here. You've got Booze and Bruce here, who's got a baby bottle of old rot gut, and he's falling in the sewer, and he's also hallucinating furry creatures. Um, so here they're talking about alcohol and having a drunkard, and... Uh, these were geared toward children, so it really, uh, I don't think you'd see something like this today. Also, here we have uh, Dressy Jesse, um, who's cross-dressing and everything, and they're making fun of it, of course, because they made fun of pretty much everything. And uh, I do not think you would see something like this uh, on the shelves today. Probably not, and if you did, that company would be in a whole heap of trouble. And here I'll pull up uh, Nervous Rex, who's uh, smoking, you know, a thousand cigarettes and drinking coffee and uh, other caffeine and everything. And he's a baby in a diaper. So I don't think they would have uh, been too kindly to uh, a company that was promoting smoking to uh, children. But at least they showed it in a negative light, right? And uh, here's the very first card, the oldest card that I have. Well, oldest meaning the, the farthest up in the series. This is Fry and Brian, who is being electrocuted to death in an electric chair. I don't think you'd see this uh, marketed toward children uh, these days or anything. Seeing stuff like this always reminds me of the old, uh, the old cartoons, like the old Tex Avery cartoons and stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure you would not see Fry and Brian in a uh, collection of any kind uh, today for kids. Okay, I once had the entire second series. Now I just have a few left. Here's Leaky Lindsay with lots of boogers. 
<laughs> um, this is Bye Bye Bobby going down the drain. And uh, Dizzy Dave, which was the most common card I ever bought. I don't know how many of these things I had. I still have two of them. Um, so it was, uh, I think I got that in almost every pack I bought. And this is Foul Phil uh, killing things with his uh, terrible breath. That's all I have left from the second series. Uh, I sold my complete set. And I don't have any third series anymore. I had a complete set of those as well, and I sold those years ago. Um, this is the fourth series. I don't have all of these. This is kind of where I, uh, I stopped collecting. I bought uh, several of them. Here are a few of note. Walt Whitless, uh, making fun of beatniks and such. A uh, piece of puzzle in the back. Uh, Mardi Gras, which uh, is another <laughs> kind of questionable thing, but could even be a, a tribute to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And then uh, by name here, I don't think you'd see this anymore. We have Horny Hal, <laughs> um, who just has a horn for face, and Rudy Toot, his twin. I don't think you'd see something with the name Horny anymore. Uh, Yicky Mickey, sometimes they just resorted to the gross stuff. Here he's eating a pile of gross stuff. <laughs> And these are the last two in that series, No Way Jose and Gord Gordon, which also reminds me of those old Tex Avery cartoons. So that's just a little trip down uh, memory lane for these Garbage Pail Kids cards. I really enjoyed collecting these back in the day because, uh, like I said, uh, my friends and I would get together in the mornings and at lunchtime and we would trade these cards back and forth. So I searched for them and I actually still had some of them left. Too bad I didn't have my second and third series cards anymore. Um, I would have loved to show you those today too. But anyway, thanks for coming by. Thanks for checking out the show. If you're new to the show, welcome aboard. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Keep liking and sharing, and we'll see you the next time on I Miss My Toys. What? <laughs>